Steve, thank you. Now to that exclusive interview with the man who over the last three months has become really America's doctor. He is the leading scientist in the government's response to COVID-19 and known to tell the truth, uncomfortable as it might be. Our Pete Gallivan spoke one-on-one -on -one today with Dr. Anthony Fauci on a number of topics from COVID-19 and the recent protests to what he believes football season is going to look like this fall. We are joined by one of the nation's foremost experts on the coronavirus, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease and a key member of the president's coronavirus task force, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you so much for taking the time, Dr. Fauci. Good to be with you. Thank you for having me. Over the last two weeks, we've seen the country overtaken by uh, demonstrations and protests, uh, including here in Buffalo. In fact, tomorrow marks two weeks since the first major demonstration. I, I know your team is monitoring that very closely. What are you seeing? Well, you know, uh, you will see cases that will be recognized clinically weeks after a congregation in a crowd. So one of the things you've got to be careful is that you don't get overconfident and say, well, we had a demonstration two days ago and nothing has happened. You're not going to see the effect. It is risky to congregate. And the situation is that we all appreciate the constitutional right and the need for people to, to, you know, to actually execute that right to protest in a peaceful way against social and other injustices, particularly what's going on right now. However, it is risky. And one must realize that. So if you feel compelled that you have to demonstrate and you have to be in a crowd, please wear a mask and don't take the mask off when you're chanting and shouting, because we know there is a clear risk when you get together in a crowd that you're increasing the possibility that you're going to be spreading infection and or obtaining infections. We are hearing a lot about advancements toward a vaccine. If and when we do come up with a vaccine, does that mean it's over? Is that, have we won the battle? Well, uh, no, I mean, uh, no vaccine is 100% protective. We would hope we would get a vaccine that would provide enough protection so that when you vaccinate enough people, you'll wind up getting what's called herd immunity, where enough people are vaccinated and enough people are protected that the virus is not going to go anywhere in community. Looking back over the past four months, knowing what you know now, is there something you would have done different at the start, at the beginning of the task force when it was first formed? You know, that's an obvious question, but in some respects, there really is no good answer. You could never say, I've done it perfectly and I could not have done it any better. That would be presumptuous and untrue. So what you say to yourself, you do the best that you can. There's always the situation, well, you know that shutting down and mitigation can definitely put a damper on infection. We've proven that. In fact, there was an article that came out just a couple of days ago to show that shutting down and locking down throughout the world has saved hundreds of millions of people from being infected and millions of deaths throughout the world. So we know that it works. So somebody says, well, if you had done it a week sooner, would you have saved more infections and lives? The answer is, of course, but don't take that out of context because we did shut down in a timely manner. But of course, we have to be humble and know we've always can do better. And finally, looking into your crystal ball, um, a lot of people in Western New York and across the country are wondering when they can get back to normal, to concerts, to, uh, to uh, the stadium. Do you see any scenario where you're going to be able, we're going to be able to get back out to the Ralph and see the Bills this fall in a full stadium full of 70,000 people? Yeah. It's unlikely that we're going to be able to see stadiums full of people. I know I've spoken personally to several of the commissioners of the various professional leagues. They're going with plans that are trying to get teams back in a very unusual way called a bubble effect where they test everybody, they put them in a sec secure uh, location, they play almost in a tournament way, and they have it televised. That's one of the ways you'll do it. You can't guarantee what is or is not going to happen in the fall, but since it's just a couple of months away, I don't see return back to full normality where you'd feel comfortable in being in a stadium, an arena, 
or an auditorium or what have you, where you have tens and tens and tens of thousands of people, that's going to be difficult. All right, Dr. Anthony Fauci, thank you so much for taking the time and, and talking to us today. And thank you, Pete Gallivan, for that as well. You can see even more of this exclusive interview tonight at 11 o'clock and only on WGRZ.com.